Hey, I'm Graham Hill from Sierra.com and PlanetGreen.com. Here in New York City, over the past seven years, the number of people commuting by bike has gone up by 80%, so it's an absolutely huge increase. Commuting by bikes is not only great for the environment and reducing emissions, it's great for your health, it's also great for your pocketbook. The challenge with this is that it can be quite frustrating when people don't respect the rules for bike lanes. It can be dangerous when people are parking or driving in there. So today, I'm going to be going out and seeing if we can influence that behavior. Here's a great example. Bike lane. Have you guys actually had cars almost hit you? No, I almost got hit. Sure. There's no reason why there can't be a dedicated bike. Really, our challenge is one of behavior change. The bicycle movement in New York now consists of over 20 groups promoting safety. Hey, Ben, I'm Graham from Hi. the... I'm here to do the clown bike program. All right, thank you for coming, Graham. Do you know our shtick? It's all new to me. So. Okay, okay, well, let me just give you a quick primer on clown bike riding. Okay, great. Our, the point of radical clowning, of theatrical, ludic activism, is to get somebody's attention. The clowns generally use direct action to try and push cars who've parked in the bike lanes out of the bike lanes. Okay. Uh, we sometimes give fake tickets out because section. 4.08 of the city code says that stopping, standing, or parking and otherwise obstructing a bike lane is prohibited. We don't really see any NYPD officers ever giving out tickets. Mm. So we're helping. Yep. We're helping. It's an enforcement strategy. Let's get you into some clown gear. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now you can't speak. That, that's a nice little pinwheel that'll go in, in the wind. All right. These guys are clearly pretty serious. Huh? You ready to do this? I am so ready. Okay, so let's go ready. liberate the lanes. <laughs> okay. Use your body, okay? Put your body into it. Okay. It's important. If we run into any blue meanies that try and take the fun out of our ride, and they are obstinate about staying in the bike lanes, honk and run away. Monty Python, run yeah. away. Don't engage with them. Because it's scary and they could make us cry. So, okay, everybody's ready to rock? Ready to rock? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's roll. I may need a little coaching. This is all new. So, Judy, tell me about how this all started. It started because. We were riding in the bike lanes in New York City, okay. and there were all these cars there. So we thought, stop plowing around, let's get these bike lanes clear. And it's really doing the job. Car parked right in there. So they told her about it, gave her a little ticket, I believe, and then helped her on her way. So a lesson well learned. Oh my lord! It's been a very safe city for biking. <laughs> sort of nuts, but great. Do you think this ride is having any impact? Well, I think we have shifted some of the media discourse. I mean, the city was not talking about bike lanes before we started doing this activism. And then as the city announces, we're going to put out 200 more miles of bike lanes in New York City. But where are they? There's a little bit of a tradition of this sort of ludic activism in New York City, which we're trying to build on and support. you got to be careful. Bike lanes are just for bikes. Major violation, clear bike lane. This ain't no bike. Success! Success! There we go. Great organization, really sending an appropriate message and really reminding people the bike lanes are here for a reason. It looks like a bunch of silly clowns, but it's, uh, it's really well thought out and it's fantastic. I was glad to learn about it. This is what riding in New York City should be all about. Separated bike lane, baby. I feel free.
There are 111 miles of bike lanes in New York City and 250 miles of bike lanes in Amsterdam. 